Hello again. So I'm recording this the very same day as I recorded my uh, 200 to 101 video because I'm all excited. And so I'll be posting this. So today is Saturday, right? Yeah. So I'll be posting this Sunday. And I have some wine because I think I'm going to need a little alcohol to get through this Top 100 by Rolling Stone. So this is uh, Rolling Stone 500 Greatest Songs, album, sorry, not songs. I need a drink. I haven't had any yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, 500 Greatest Albums. And as I've always been complaining, as have other viewers, you know, there's all different kinds of genres mixed in. So I don't know how Rolling Stone is figuring how to rank all these albums. And also, you know, there's some greatest hits thrown in. So it's kind of strange, but there certainly are some good albums in the list, including at number 100, The Band, Music from Big Pink. Although, yeah, that's a great album, but my favorite is still the very underrated Cahoots. This might be a little bit longer. I usually, you know, I do think of the, the viewer and I don't want to drag it on, but I'm going to slow down a bit and relax. Maybe take a break half, you know, halfway through. <laughs> go, go have a coffee and a smoke. I don't smoke, by the way. Taylor Swift, uh, <laughs> at 99, of course, with red. You just think of, you know, the... Nothing against her, but, you know, the great albums that are below hers, like Physical Graffiti by Led Zeppelin, some Beatles albums. You just shake your head. I've never heard Lucinda Williams, but I've heard that is a great album. Metallica, I actually bought, you know, I don't mind Metallica. Uh, and I've bought some of their albums through the years. I just, you know, I just don't play them that much. So, but I did have that on vinyl back in the day. I love Automatic for the People. It's my favorite REM song. And Find the River is my favorite REM song that's on this album. And of course, everybody hurts. Ah, so there's a Drake album that's better than most of the Led Zeppelin uh, albums that were posted earlier. <laughs> the Stooges Funhouse, I have that. It was gifted to me. That's a great album. Not sure if it would be number four on my list, though. Missy Elliott. Okay. Yeah. Axis Bold as Love, I have that on CD. Great album. Darkness on the Edge of Town, I prefer uh, Born to Run. And then, as I've said before, Tunnel of Love is my favorite Bruce Springsteen album, but still, it's an excellent album. Mm. Neil Young, After the Gold Rush. Never heard of this artist. David Bowie, Hunky Dory. Good choice. I have Bitches Brew. Yep, on CD. Oh, so, you know, the selection is getting a little better. The Doors, the great debut album. I have that. I have John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band. I have ACDC, Back in Black. Wow, I have some, some albums in the top 100. <laughs> uh, I don't have any Dusty Springfield. I don't have There's a Riot going on, but like I've said before, I have a, a two CD compilation and also the Life album. I love Sly and the Family Stone. 
Beyonce. Yeah. The Sex Pistols. I, I had that CD, but I lost it. And I would definitely want to get it again. I love, I love that album. Frank Ocean, never heard. I think he it looks like he's embarrassed that he's in the top 100 instead of Led Zeppelin. Elvis Presley, The Sun Sessions. Yes, the who, who's next? I think that should be ranked higher in the list. I have that, the new deluxe version. The great Curtis Mo the great Curtis Mayfield. Don't have that or that. The college dropout. No comment. <laughs> My bloody Valentine. I've never heard. Yeah, Harvest. Great album by Neil Young. I have that. Boy, they really love Beyonce, don't they? NWA. Alanis Morissette. Yeah, I bought that. I'm going to have a sip of wine. I like her. Um, I did buy that on vinyl when it came out. Yeah, Kate Bush, Hounds of Love, great album. I have that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So the top 67 album of all time is Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt. Well, there's reasonable doubt that is wrong. Yeah, that's a very well-known album. I've heard heard a little bit of John Coltrane, but I think I prefer Miles Davis. Yeah, the great James Brown live at the Apollo. Don't have it though. Outcast, I've never heard this album, although I had an earlier album that was mentioned. St Stankonia. Yeah, I was never a big Steely Dan fan, but I can see that being in the top 100. Same as that, I'm not a fan of Guns N' Roses, but... Eric B. and Raycom, paid in full. <laughs> yes, definitely in the top, maybe even higher, Astral Weeks. The great Stevie Wonder talking book. I don't own that, but of course, great album. Yeah. Sometimes I forget this is my ASMR channel, so let's take things slowly and quiet. I think almost everybody owns a Led Zeppelin IV if they're a rock fan. 58. The Band. 57. I have that too. So Liz Fair's Exile in Guyville is better than Led Zeppelin IV. I don't know. I've never heard it. Maybe it is. Ooh, Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon. That, for me, should be maybe even in the top 10. James Brown, Star Time. See, that's a, once again, it's a compilation. And it even says they're disc two. <laughs> but James Brown is great. Electric Ladyland. I have that. Yes, David Bowie, Station to Station. Awesome. Yeah, once again, greatest hits. Uh, 
Oh, Lord. Jay, I'm going to swear in a minute. Jay-Z, the blueprint. The top, in the top 50 albums of all time, according to Rolling Stone, they must really like Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> Outcast? Yeah, I like them, but I've just never heard the album. I don't know if it should be in the top 50, though. Yeah, Bob Marley and the Whalers. I don't own it, but I can see that being in the top 50. Yes, I have that. I love the Ramones. Ramones. I always say the Ramones, but it's actually Ramones. Yeah, I could see that being in the top 50. Yeah, Paul Simon, Graceland. I love anything by Paul Simon. Yeah, Prince, Sign of the Times. I don't have it on... CD, but I've, I used to have it on vinyl, but I could see that being in the top 50. I don't see that being, you know, I haven't heard it though, but I'm, <laughs> I'm figuring it's, you know, rap isn't my kind of music or hip hop, but maybe it deserves to be number 44. A Tribe Called Quest, I've never heard. Radiohead, OK Computer, I can see that being number 42. I have that, by the way, yeah. And Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Yeah. Yes, David Bowie, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. See, right there, Talking Heads Remain in Light, it's a very good album, but I think... That is a much better album. Boom, Dylan. Blonde on blonde, let me have another sip of wine. And I would like to thank, you know, seriously, Everyone that has commented on these uh, videos, the, the Rolling Stone series, I really do appreciate it. Dr. Dre, the cook. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to tell Glenn Kellaway from the basement that uh, Dr. Dre's The Chronic is better than Bob Dylan's Blonde on Blonde. <laughs> Michael Jackson off the wall. Hmm. I think I know that bad was earlier. I think I've heard off the wall. I think bad is better. Oh, at least it's in the top 40 or top 35. The Beatles rubber soul. Well, at least it's near the top, but it should be higher. Stevie Wonder, Inner Visions. See, I have no problem with that, even though, you know, I'm a much bigger Beatles fan than Stevie Wonder fan, but Inner Visions ahead of Rubber Soul, I'm fine with that. Because Stevie Wonder is a musical genius. I don't agree with that, though. Back to Black. It's a, still, you know, a great album. This will be my thumbnail. It's time to have more wine, people. Wow, Rolling Stone really is sucking up to Beyonce and what's it, what's his name? Jay Z. I'm waiting for a <laughs> for the Donny Osmond album to show up. And no respect, I mean, with respect to Donny Osmond, I mean, I think the Osmonds were very talented, seriously. Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, I have that. Yeah, I can see it being in near the top. Yep, that's my favorite Jimi Hendrix album. Yes, although it should be higher. 
It's my number one, probably, well, between Abbey Road and The White Album. That's my favorite album of all time. But D'Angelo is better than the Beatles' White Elb. Voodoo. And Wu-Tang Clan. Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers. No thank you. I'd rather just sit here and drink some wine. Patty Smith Horses. Uh, I don't know. I've struggled with this album. I love Patty Smith. My favorite album of hers is Easter and then Radio Ethiopia. I have Horses on CD. I've played it a couple of times, but I don't know. I just can't connect with it. I can see that being that was a that sold billions and billions of records. I can see that being at twenty five. Great talent. Oh, ho, ho. Rolling Stone. You just have to shake your head. So I, I'm curious, what's the next album that is ahead of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? Oh, <laughs> it's an album I, I love. Yeah, but still, it shouldn't be ahead of Sgt. Pepper. So the Notorious B.I.G. Ready to Die is better than the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run at 21. Well, yeah, it is a great album. I mean... Yeah, Thunder Road, Jungle Land, Back Streets. Oh, that's kind of surprising. I think, I don't know. I think Rolling Stone is just trying to be cool because I think, you know, Kid A is very good, but I think OK Computer and The Benz are better albums. But, you know, Rolling Stone is trying to be hip and cool. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar to pimp a butterfly at 19. I need a drink. Bob Dylan, Highway 61 Revisited, at 18. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I, I do. I, I think Bob Dylan is one of the greats, but I'm not a huge fan, but I, I definitely like him a lot. So I can see that being at 18. I respect that. I don't respect Kanye West, my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. And I know there's going to be some viewers saying, it's a great album. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I, I have, I've tried. I've listened to his music on Spotify and it's just not for me. Yep. The Clash, London Calling. Oh, we're getting closer to the top 10. Public enemy, it takes a, no a nation of millions to hold us back. I've never heard it, you know, but obviously it was uh, very influential back in the day. The Rolling Stones, Exile on Main Street. It's not my favorite. Like, I love uh, Sticky Fingers more and even... Uh, Probably Goat's Head Soup and Some Girls, but 
number 14, Aretha Franklin. I never loved a man the way I love you. Michael Jackson. Okay, I thought it was it was already shown, but yeah. Although, like I said, I think maybe let me know if you're a Michael Jackson fan. Do you prefer Thriller or Bad? I think I like Bad just a tad more. Whoa, that hurts. Didn't make the top ten. Oh, <laughs> I I need more wine. All right. Here we go, the top 10. Drum roll. Make sure you're subscribed, or I'm not going to continue. Press that subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Here we go. Lauren Hill. Is it, I believe, is she the one that only made this one album and then she kind of just didn't make any more albums? I've never heard it, so maybe it deserves to be in the top 10, you know? If I haven't heard the album, even if it's a rap album, I understand. I could be wrong, right? But above the Beatles, that's wrong. Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks. Okay. That's okay, Rolling Stone. Just don't get me mad. Okay. Per Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain. Don't know if it would be top 10 for me. But... I actually like the follow-up around, what was it called? Around the World in 80 Days or the one with Raspberry Beret on it. Number seven. Oh yeah, I agree. You know, I don't have it right now in my collection, but I had it, of course, on vinyl. And yeah, it's one of the greatest albums ever. And it sold a few copies. So I can see that being in the top 10. Same with that, Nirvana. Never mind. I don't have that. I used to have it on vinyl. Yep. Top five. Way to go, Rolling Stone. At least it's in the top five. But it would be number one or number two for me. So what is better than Abbey Road? Well, yeah, <laughs> they, they picked a good album. Yeah, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life, which I did own on vinyl. And it also came with a 45 single. So I can't disagree with that. Number three, yeah, Joni Mitchell Blue. I don't think it's as great as Abbey Road, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion. But that's okay at number three. <sighs> really curious. What would be number one? It's not going to be a Beatles album. It's going to be some stupid rap album. Ooh. Now this album, people either think it's the greatest, one of the greatest albums ever, like I do now, or they think it's overrated. Um, yeah, in the past, like I've always loved the album, but I didn't think it was one of the greatest albums ever. But about a year ago or so, I just got it. And I think it is truly one of the greatest albums ever, you know. Number one. Let's drag this out for a few minutes. 
Here we go. Okay. It could have been a lot worse. I've never heard the full album, but I respect Marvin Gaye. I had the single Sexual Healing back in the day. I think he's a great artist. I've heard parts of this album. So that being at number one, I, I, I don't know. I don't have any problem. with. But overall, what a stupid list. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. Thank you everyone that's watched the entire series or even just this video. I really appreciate it. Um, remember, I have a Patreon. Please check it out and make a song or even a full album request. And if you find any more of these kind of lists that I can check out, it doesn't even have to be really music related. You know, I might be interested in uh, doing a reaction to it. So thank you. Bye.